Hi there, this is Ross from Back to Roots. Um, just a, uh, uh, an update on um, how everything's doing in the aquaponics system. <coughs> um, this is the, um, the uh, vermiculite perlite um, uh, seed bed um, that, that I put in, which is doing really, really well. And um, this is um, half vermiculite, half perlite mixed together. The, the bed's about only an inch deep. Um, and um, I've just sort of moistened moistened it a little bit um, and then just sown the seeds directly onto it and as you can see um, the the seedlings we've got lettuces and um, mixed salad in there and then we've also got this uh, kohlrabi in there as well um, and I haven't put I haven't um, sprayed it or anything this is just literally just growing on um, on the condensation that's uh, that's inside the um, the tank at the moment. If you can see, it's only only a matter of about about a week or so, I think, that they've been that they've been in here. Um, also, um, the, the strawberry plants are doing incredibly well. Um, so so far, it seems to be quite a success. I mean, if you can see those flowers, this is. This is the end of March, um, so I mean, you know, they're doing they're doing exceptionally well. We've got we've got f all these flowers forming quite nicely, and um, I'm leaving the the tent open every day so that um, so that ho hopefully they they can be. Um, the, the, the flowers um, can be uh, um, pollinated by the bees and there's been quite a lot of bees coming in um, over the last few days just coming in and uh, familiarizing themselves with it and everything there's uh, there's the broccoli there as well um, and if you see the uh, this the the um, there's the spinach and the greens I had to cut quite a lot of spinach out because it was getting so big it was sort of starting to fall over a little bit. But I mean, if you can see the size of that in comparison to my hand, there's my hand there. Um, so that's about 10 inches, 10, 12 inches tall. So that's quite massive. Um, the, the swell filter is working absolutely brilliantly. Um, you can see it's slowly turning there. And um, and draining all the water down, and then <coughs> if you have a look inside inside the tank, the um, fish are really really quite enormous. Now um, let me just see if I can catch one. Nobody's biting today. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Um, I did have some absolute beauties in here yesterday that I was catching. Um, I'll have to see if I can catch one and then uh, and, and then show you that. Okay. But um, uh, another another bit that we're doing as well is um, this. Uh, uh, we've got this wormery in here. We're putting a lot of our food scraps into, um, and uh, it's getting the most amazing, gorgeous dark worm tea coming out of the bottom of it. And what we're going to do is put that in a, a bottle, of that, um, and then put that into. Um, uh, uh, and to a little spray dispenser um, and then I'm going to spray that on all of the green fly that's up here um, in the afternoon when this gets really really hot we get a bit of green fly up here so if we can spray it with that then um, it won't be so bad um, and uh, hopefully it will kill them off a little bit but, uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you in just a minute I'll, um, I'll get one of these uh, one of these tilapia out. Okay, so I just uh, I just caught this um, this, this tilapia. Um, 
you can see he's a very, very healthy chap. Um, quite, quite a big fella. Um, and he's he's almost ready to eat this 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 chap. So uh, there's there's some even bigger ones in here, which are just super huge. Um, and they're, they're they're very very tasty. Um, the the ones that I've had so far. So uh, um, that's been fantastic eating. Um, what I've done is I've put this uh, separator board in place. I'll just let him go there. Because um, um, it's a four meter long tank, it gives gives the the fish quite a lot of freedom to roam up and, and down. Um, but then when I want to catch them, I put this, uh, this this separator panel in, drop that in, and then I drag that down and uh, net it, net the fish with the board and and the net together. Um, and uh, it's working out quite well. Um, I've just drained part part of the tank down and um, cleaned out cleaned out some of the uh, some of the filter um, components and bits and pieces. So that's that's why we've got this sort of throth that's arrived on the top um, this morning whilst the the water stabilizes again. Um, start of April, I'm getting all of the tilapia out um, and uh, um, I'm gonna pretty much kill them off, freeze them, what I don't eat I'll use for, for bait, for crayfish, um, um, crayfish pots and uh, and then after that I'm going on to um, edible carp which is um, um, apparently quite quite a tasty fish but they take, rather than taking six months to get to size because um, they're quite bony, they need to be quite a bit bigger so um, that's going to take about uh, about a year to two years to get a quite a large carp um, but the advantage with them is that in the winter they um, they uh, go into hibernation and you don't need heaters um, to, to, to keep it going during the winter the heating um, on, on, on these tanks being outdoors is absolutely huge so uh, I really recommend if you're going to do tilapia do it inside um, because uh, the, the the heating bill is just enormous, so um, I'm changing over to uh, to edible carp, um, and I'm also going to inquire about the possibility of um, of growing eels as well. But um, I don't know quite what the uh, the rules and regulations are for um, for for CFAS on um, on growing your own eels. So I'm going to have to check out on that. But eels, like Gurnard, is um, y you know y is quite a tasty fish, uh, um, uh, eel. So I might have a go at that. So there you go. Okay, um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll 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 see you soon, and um, uh, hopefully we carry on getting a good good response um, like we have from 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 people um, joining the, uh, the, the the network and that. Um, we had quite a lot of real positive um, feedback from uh, um, people saying that they really like the idea of doing the network and, and it'd be great if you guys can sort of start um, streaming your own videos to see what you guys are up to as well um, with regards to permaculture, aquaponics, um, grow your own in general um, and then see if we can get some, uh, some localised meetings together and that sort of thing, that'd be brilliant. Okay. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.